You done sold all the tickets you can to the rivalry. Ain't nothing necessary but the reunion. You dig what I'm saying? So Hey, you know it's Bad Girls Club, season one, reunion. Amen. <laughs> Period. Let me let me make a couple things clear to y'all. Go First ahead. of all, say it. Then Clifford. And I, you know I told you that at the show. I was like, I don't know. Clifford's my dad's name. That's what you said at the show. And I hey, one TV. Let's get straight into it. I was like, okay, I would love to meet your dad. He's like, my daddy did. That nigga did. Okay. I was like, why would you do that in the middle of a comedy though. show? But he good fine. though. But regardless, um, I do want to say this. I appreciate T.I., a.k.a. Clifford, so much. <laughs> him and his father. All right, peace to God. But I appreciate him so much for taking this moment. Like, for real, y'all have been... No, he did not pay me. I know y'all... Like, I never got $1 million. This but nigga has what? been trying to give me fries. But get what, though? To make it cool. She got so much integrity. She say she want to work. She want she, she want, she want to work for her shit. Mm -hmm. She, she she don't want all of her hard work to be about me. Period. And that shit there is respectable. I want my BBL off merit. <laughs> I will, Man, you I will take BBL, your deposit. Bro. I'll take your... <laughs> now, don't get it twisted. I'll take your deposit. But I want it off merit. And for all y'all weird-ass comedians... Stop. Hey, man. Let them hey, know. look. This is the thing, bro. Anybody who my partner man... Don't be goddamn threatening or intimidating nobody on my name, bro. I don't mean? fuck around. I don't Probably fuck sure. around. I don't, I don't, that ain't high. That ain't high. I don't play like that. You know what I mean? If anything, bro, like I told you, I, I want to come to an understanding. Listen. And we, and we've done that, and I'm happy about that. And tell them, tell them, I did not. You, you, heckle, you tell them you heckle me. You, you say what? Tell them what? You heckle me first. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, I triggered her first. Heckle me first. But Heckle, regardless, triggered. It's the same thing. You see the vagina on my head? What? You see that? I didn't know what that. That's what that was. I don't want to look at it. It's I don't a, even want to look it's at it. It's a line it. called prostitutes don't take change. I don't want to do that, man. What? You ain't never getting no prostitute no change because you're what wealthy. What are you talking about? I'm talking about y'all. Hey, man, about... look. What, every time something bad happens, there's an incredible opportunity for something good to happen. And I will be on his stand-up special on Netflix because he's going to get one because he's famous. And I'll be there. <laughs> I will be riding. If anybody, I won't ride a dick, but I will ride a coattail. <laughs> so... Hey, man. Hey, I ain't got nothing but love for you. I ain't got nothing but some integrity. I mean, love and respect for you. I love and you. I think you have an incredible amount of integrity. And I think you handled yourself with integrity. And well, you heard it here. Lauren said she'd be happy to work with T.I. and be on his stage when he does his comedy shows. I'm not mad at anybody that's mature enough to let bygones be bygones and forgive. You know, more power to them if they're able to move forward. Looks like they're happy in their new friendship. Let me know, would you be able to forgive someone that got on your stage like T.I. did her? And would you forgive someone that would hit below the belt and say something about allegations going on? Let me know your guys' final thoughts down below. Bye. Recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, mm. and I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance, mm. everybody else pays.